Hello boys and girls! We are going to make some artwork that relates to fairy tales and landscapes. And here you can see some very beautiful landscapes. Generally, fairy tales are European, but they actually have fairy tales from all around the world. Classic ones show the woods, castles, hills, trees, cottages, and here you can see a house on a hill, obviously some woods, and fantastic characters. Of course there is the famous witch's house that's made from candy, and here Hansel and Gretel see it. And of course sometimes there's a tower connected to a castle. This is just a beautiful image of a building in the woods. And Here's another example of a beautiful castle with the mountains in the background, cottages. This one has mushrooms in the foreground. We are going to focus on what's in the foreground, in the front, in the middle ground, and creating landscape in the background. All right, here we go. Right here you can see in the front or the foreground, there's a, the shape of trees and people. In the middle ground, you have more people on a frozen river. And in the background, you can see a castle. Boys and girls, here are some different examples of castles, the front of castles. Lots of rectangles, small windows, triangular tower tops. Just very simple shapes to build a castle drawing. Hello boys and girls. We are going to be working on landscape, which is a drawing of the land. Could be hills or valleys or rivers, mountains, forests, any kind of landscape. We're gonna to try to make a foreground. That's everything in the front, middle ground and a background. But we're also going to be focusing on fairy tales. So we really want to add somewhere in our image a castle, maybe some towers, possibly like a little bridge over a river, woods, maybe even a little house, a cottage in the woods. So boys and girls, let's get started. You're going to need a pencil, some drawing materials, coloring materials, I have lots of markers and crayons. You could also use paint in this project easily, especially if you have a permanent marker or a Sharpie. All right, boys and girls, let's get started. So I wanna really push the concept of foreground. So in this drawing, I am going to place in the front, maybe a river, some kind of land, something close up in front. So maybe I'll have a river right here and some water rushing. And maybe right here I could have one of those really nice little stone bridges. And then I might erase this. So that if someone was crossing this river, they would have uh, a little stone wall, stone wall on this side, and this is like old European style with some cobblestones down. Maybe this would be stones also. And here is how my bridge ends. Yeah. Now, of course, you don't have to set a bridge in the front, but you want to maybe make uh, some trees or some bushes in the front. And I'll come back to that. I'd like to add some trees here. So I'm just going to draw like a shape for the top of the tree and maybe just the bark at the bottom. And another shape, a little bit smaller in the background here, and the bottom. So now I've got some nice wood started going back, back, back. And maybe I could put some characters in here. Maybe the wolf. Up here, I think I'm going to make a hill 
little hillside. And possibly some more trees here. Here's the deep, dark forest. And this time I'm making some pine trees. And I'd really like to show that there's a lot of pine trees here. And I have to think about what do I want here? Possibly a cottage. Or maybe, I don't know how you're setting yours up, but maybe you'd have a cottage farther in the back. It'd be fun to show both the cottages, the houses, and you really want to show a castle in a fairy tale land. So here are my trees for a forest. And maybe I'd have trees going back. Just the triangle parts. Maybe you're having a forest in your drawing. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're having the river and the ocean and mountains. It's your decision, boys and girls. And I want to have more trees behind this tree and more trees. So I'm just showing more and more trees. And they're getting kind of smaller because they're going back and back. And I really want to show like some wonderful little cottage. I might put it right here that this little bridge leads to a cottage. And here are my little cobblestones. And I could erase this hill and show more trees here because they're all coming close to that other pine woods. Here we go. And it looks like they're going back and back and back. They're overlapping each other. And I'd like to show some hills way in the background. And I could put the castle up there. So I'm going to show almost like a mountainous shape up and then maybe a valley coming down and then going back up again. And then behind this hill, there's another hill. So it goes far into the landscape. Here's some clouds, simple lines for clouds. Maybe the sun shining, maybe it's the moon. So I could put a, a house here, or I could put a field here. Hmm, maybe, maybe I'll have some more landscape here, a little bit of the land. Here is the river, here is the end of my bridge coming down. I think right here I'm going to put a little cute little cottage or maybe it will be the cottage made of candy. Boys and girls, make sure you add something in the woods here. Here's the front of the cottage. And generally you can make it with a triangle and a rectangle. I'm going to make this little window like a piece of candy, a circular piece. And I'm going to show the side of the little cottage, okay? So first I'm going to show a door. And then I'm going to show the side. So I'm going to draw a line going up a little bit and over. And then the top of the roof line going up and over. So now I can see the side of the building. And on the side, those have to be angled a little bit. They should be. I'm going to show, uh-oh, I forgot the roof. And it doesn't quite fit. So I'm going to follow this line. This line goes over and I'm going to go over again, but it goes right into the woods. So I have to race the woods. Oops, I've got a crooked roof. There we go. And I want the angle to follow this angle. So go over. And there's my roof coming down. And then I could put windows that are charming, like in a little woodsy house. Boy, I wish I had a house like this to go into the into the forest and in the woods and have a charming little home. But be careful. There's always something going on. <laughs> and maybe you could make it a candied house or you could add Hansel and Gretel or some of the other characters. But I think I would really love 
to show some more of the land up here, maybe part of the valley coming down. The river could continue over here, or there could be a lake. I could have a lake here. This could all be blue lake and maybe a little boat on the lake. Oh, that's kind of charming. You see how it's all layered on top of each other? Front, foreground, middle of the picture, right here. Background, going back, back, back. And I'd like to put a castle up there, way up here. This is where I have a very far away castle here. Here's a tower. There's always a tower and some parts of this stone wall. And I'm going to make mine kind of in little triangles. And this is so far away, so there's not a lot of detail. And here are some of the windows. And there could be a drawbridge and little lines for all those bricks, those thousands and thousands of bricks in this castle. And boys and girls, of course you can add more rivers coming down, water, storms, more cottages, more homes. Maybe there's more homes up here. I'm not going to add any though. I want to do the sky up there. All right, boys and girls. Enjoy yourself. Be creative like I know you always are. And really think about some of the fairy tales you're learning about and try to add details like character. Maybe a few bears, maybe a few wolves or foxes or witches and kind of hide them in your picture. Once you have your drawing kind of set up with pencil, you can start adding color, you can start adding the layers of color. It'd be nice if I was using paint. Paint would work really well in here. Right now, I think I'm going to use marker and crayons. All right, boys and girls, enjoy yourself. And I cannot wait to see what you've done. Remember, we're going to try to show all sorts of interesting landforms. Hello, boys and girls. You can finish your work by outlining it or bringing color into it without an outline. You decide, but I'd really like you to concentrate on adding color in every section of your drawing, in the foreground and the front, obviously in the middle, and in the background. So boys and girls, enjoy yourself. I can't wait to see what you come up with, your ideas and how you set up your drawing. Of course, you don't have to set it up just like this, but I would like you to show different land features and obviously elements of fairy tales. Thank you, boys and girls.